Introduction to Labor Law Hello everyone welcome to Study Law with Avatar. Today we are going to discuss an introduction on labor law. Labor laws and employment laws have been essentially derived from socialist republic state. Only the socialist republican state can best define the true usage of industrial labor laws because moral and ethical standards are the bedrock of a social republican state and are hence given high importance. Labor and employment laws are quite important as they give structure to workplace, define what both employees and employers are responsible for and in some cases, also outline the federal regulations in order to give both parties the direction necessary for resolving workplace conflict. The theory or philosophy of law pertaining to the labor and employment laws for the industrial sector comes from the Industrial Revolution. India got its Industrial Revolution a little late, as compared to the Western countries. Though because of its complex relations with Britain which was ruling over India, and using Indian people for further equipping their industrial revolution, hence as a consequential truth, Indian industrial jurisprudence arose a bit late. In India, we have many laws in India for various industrial aspects. We have plethora labor laws in India. However, they're implementing especially in the rural areas we find major missing implementation of all these laws. However, in India we have many laws pertaining to employees and employers such as Minimum Wages Act, 1948, Payment of Wages Act, 1936, Payment of Bonus Act, 1965, Employees State Insurance Act, 1948, Labor Welfare Fund Act of Respective States Payment of Gratuity Act, 1972 Factories Act, 1948 Industrial Employment Standing Orders Act, 1946 Shops and Commercial Establishments Act of Respective States Internationalization of labor laws started after the Treaty of Versailles in the year 1919. The growth of labor rights in general worldwide tools has existed liberal because they have existed a constant concern of governments. However, skilled are in the worldwide sphere tools of distinguishing content, created a peace international labor organization. That, because internationalization in 1919, has enhanced the subject matter of document-bearing worldwide labor standards. On the internationalization of labor standard completed activity under ILO instances, it bear be eminent that the ILO's program of operation has had to acclimate itself to the various conjunctures, that the experience was an architectural finish in the 20th and 21st day, offset from the happening of a lore law enunciated in 1919, therefore exciting towards the need for business-related and public aid, tween countries with its own government following in position or time World War II. This has produced to the conversion of the realm and rights of work to a lure-present arrangement. The ILO has existed alive in putting forward the guardianship and respect of few of the fundamental civil rights. This question was introduced in the program of the 86th session of the International Labor Conference, 1998, that selected the ILO Declaration on Fundamental Principles and Rights Working and Allure Follow-Up. Taking Allure idea from Allure own constitution, the ILO's 1998 declaration is a new type of permissible mechanism outstanding by its promoting character from the different worldwide concurrences on labor. The goal search out reassure ILO appendage states to celebrate the number of the organization's center guidelines. The International Labor Organization, ILO, is loyal to advancing social fairness and globally acknowledged human and labor rights out for its establishing responsibility that labor harmony is owned by prosperity. Today, 
The ILO helps advance the invention of appropriate work and the financial and occupied conditions that present ordinary people and trade population a stake in lasting harmony, affluence, and progress.